exciting day in the household. We got a new crapper. This is the new, was it model 320? And I'll put the Amazon link in the description. And it is a, <laughs> I got my silicone wedding ring on, but porcelain toilet. And it is elongated, very cool. And it's got your foot pedal on the right and it's got a sprayer which they call a poop shooter which i'll explain later and there's the water connection right on the back so it should be pretty simple to install but man this thing is built it's got some weight to it all porcelain and here's the old plastic one this is like pooping in a thimble i mean it just doesn't weigh anything all plastic you guys probably have this already with the accelerator pedal in the front so when you're sitting down you can hit the brakes or hit the gas pedal i'm going to go ahead and get this in place and uh let's see what it looks like so upgrading a toilet is probably one of the easiest upgrades you can do to your camper rv all you do is take off the two nuts right right here two nuts on one on either side unscrew the water line right there and uh, go ahead and lift it off very simple so getting ready to put the toilet back on always stuff a rag down there but make sure that you take the seal off of the old toilet because the new toilet's got a new seal on it and clean the flange up really good The next item is going to be to connect my existing water line up, which was different. So the other Pfefford toilet or whatever it was actually had a connection up the top. This one comes on straight in the back. So what I'm going to do is I, I swung this up the pivot on that connector and I'm going to cut this and put a shark bite elbow connector in. And then I'm going to see if I can put a shutoff valve because I've read on the interweb some of these Dometics, uh, the valve starts leaking after a while on the foot pedal here. So I want to make sure that I can isolate the toilet. So uh, I'll see if I can get a ball valve into this. This also comes with the poop shooter, which is right here. And I'll get that mounted. It comes with like a little wall bracket. So get that out of the way for now. All right, so let's get the plumbing connected up and that'll be it. These are the shark bite connectors. I just love these things. I uh, use them in the house and other projects. But what it is is called a shark bite because it's like shark teeth down in the center of this. And I have the PEX tubing here, that blue stuff. And usually your camper is going to be a half inch, so you're going to need half inch shark bite connectors. But what you do is mark the PEX with a Sharpie which I'll do here in a little bit and then you just shove it in there as far as you can get it so it goes in about a half inch and then it grabs and seals really good so I need to put an elbow in for my installation your installation may vary and then I'm going to see if I have enough distance to get that that uh, ball valve installed so I need to get my elbow in here I'll give that a shot then I'm going to mark in so I make sure I push this in all the way. Another mark about the thickness of that collar right there. So I need to push it in this far because I've done these before where I didn't push them in all the way and that's bad doing it that way. Let me just slip on the end here. Let's see if I can get it on there. Kind of twist a little bit. helps if you grunt and that's in all the way 
absolutely make sure you get it in all the way. You can see that there's just a little bit of the blue left. All right, so I'm lined up now. <sighs> and here's my piece that I cut off. And I'm going to put my ball valve right in here. So I need a piece to couple this together. And this is a PVC pipe cutter made by Lennox. And I'll put the link in Amazon in the description. But these work really well and I've cut up the inch and a half pipe with this in the past. And does an amazing job. That took some doing. Alright. Alright, I am in. Can't test for leaks right now because I have the trailer winterized, but I'm going to like that set up here. And that should do it. You won't need to do this, but I got to cover up my wire chase and they had some hokey piece of wood on an angle here before. So I had some extra deck plate left over. So I went to the fab shop, bent a piece. And what I'm going to do is uh, put it in there or something like that. Kind of like a cover. And I've got these blocks of wood. I'm going to put it up against the wall and then I'll just screw it to the top of that and that will do it. guys let's take a look at the final installation here I got my uh, elongated toilet just like you have in your house got the poop shooter mounted on the wall so at any time if there's any uh, little you know what's left in the bowl just take and uh, shoot it which is nice and uh, just like a residential toilet and it's got the gear shift thing on the side here for water and I think from reading, again, I'm all winterized, so I don't have any water in yet, but you press it a little bit down and it'll fill up the bowl with water, kind of like what you do in your house. And then when you go all the way down, hello down there, it opens it up. So one little tip that I found that I thought I'd throw in here with a toilet replacement is the black tank um, deodorizer deal, holding tank treatment, I guess you call it. Uh, I've been using that blue stuff for the last 25, 30 years, and times I've gotten it splashed back on my hands. Dad! Oh, Jinx. Oh. Jinx, don't do it. Jinx, Jinx, Jinx. No. don't do it. No! No! Jesus! Moses! Hey, hold hey. on! Hold on! Hey. Moses! Oh. Moses, hold on! I'm gonna save you! My God! Moses! I'm it's okay. Get out of the way! Hey, what the hell are you doing? That's my toilet! I gotta get my dog! Forget your dog! What about my toilet? Moses! Oh! 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 O
But for you engineering types uh, watching this video, uh, you have wind flow coming across this bullet shape. Uh, it creates a vacuum and pulls a vacuum onto your black tank uh, exhaust pipe there, which is really cool. So it works well. Also, uh, you get the flange. If you don't have one of these, I think it comes with it. And again, I'll put the link in the description for Amazon to get one of these. And uh, all it does is slides over the uh, black pipe, which I have in there, so you'll probably want to chop a little bit of that off. And uh, it's just going to go over that and come into that flange and then go down. And there it is. You have yourself a weather vane on the back of your trailer that people are going to ask about what, what, what that is. And you want to put a self-tapping screw into the side uh, to hold it on so the wind doesn't rip it off. And then put a little bit of caulking around here, maybe some silicone uh, around that seam to keep the water from running down into that flange. And that's it. So let's go ahead and wrap it up. Hopefully you got some laughs out of the video. But uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Going for a thousand subscribers, getting pretty close. Appreciate everybody supporting the channel. And thanks for watching.